What's up everybody, Catch Double Seven, and today bringing you some acrobat gameplay and I have amazing news. Your boy became the first acrobat of the NAEU server and after two weeks of just pure grinding, I finally did it. Now, this is a two part video. This video, I will be commentating the next gameplay. It's a five cypher kite, so please stay tuned for that with some music in the background. Now, going straight into the gameplay. I knew where the hunter spawned and I'm making sure to rotate and maintain as much distance as possible. Now, what I'm doing here is called transition kiting. And most of you ask me, how do I play acrobat? What do I use the acrobat's balls for? I'm gonna tell you. What I use the balls for and how I play is constantly transition kiting. Transition kiting, in my opinion, is the best form of kiting in IDV. There's tight kiting, there's looping, etc, etc. But the best type of kiting is keeping your distance and keeping your distance from the hunter constantly. Now, if you see, I made him use the pallet, that two pallet, making my way towards three pallets to a better area. I'm going from one area to the next, abusing different areas. Now, I'm through this pallet down, forcing him to break it, wasting as much time as possible, making my way towards Shaq. Now, I'm constantly behind him looking for the fog light. I snowball here. Now, I was forcing him to go around. He hits the barrel, unfortunate. Throw the pallet down, forcing him to break it, and now I'm gonna make my way back to the window. Now, I'm constantly keeping my distance, ladies and gentlemen. I'm constantly keeping my distance. Now, it's either he goes to the snowball, vaults it, or he breaks the pallet and goes another direction. Either way, I'm constantly keeping my distance. Now, I switch to my mud ball, because remember, this pallet was thrown down and he broke it. Watch what he does here. Beautiful uh, foggy blade, anticipating where I was going. Either way, he still stepped in my mud ball and he always slowed down. Making my way towards ruins. Why am I rotating towards ruins? I'm trying to get away from my teammates Cypher so they can decode. I'm trying to promote Cypher Rush. Keep in mind we do have a Seer on our team. I asked for Owl. Uh, Ripper doesn't have a fog blade yet. He's waiting for the fog blade. I see that he has a fog blade in hand. I juke back, get into the hit. Now I make sure he gets attack recovery. From there, I'm gonna use that hit from the owl, vault this pallet, and make sure I maintain as much distance as possible. He's still chasing me. I switch back my red ball. Now look what I do here. I throw the red ball down here, forcing him to go around. Everything I'm doing has a purpose. He's chasing me, juke back, go back into the pallet. Now watch it, I throw the red ball sooner or later, throw it right here. Now what that does is, not only does it nullify his abilities, but for a split second, he cannot attack. Always keep that in mind. So with the red ball, it has two things. You can nullify the abilities of the hunter, and for a split second, he cannot attack. Juke the blink, I knew it was coming. Well, back, and I'll make way to another area, a little three pallet over here. Either way, it was a beautiful kite. He's still chasing after me. His fog blade should come back in a bit. Fog blade hits me, and it was a 120 second kite. Beautiful job on my behalf. Now it's gonna be up to Elias to go for the save. He's chasing Elias. He knows how much a nuisance Cowboy can be, and Cowboy is just so fun to play, and getting off those saves is just so satisfying. He's still chasing the Cowboy. He's chasing the Cowboy. Breaks the pallet, going to the pallet over here. Beautiful discipline, throws a pallet down and gets the fog blade. Beautiful discipline and patience on the Ripper's behalf, waiting so he can get that fog blade hit. Elias coming to save me, coming to save me while um, Cut and Psyche do the ciphers. He sees Elias, he's like, hey, hey, stop it. <laughs> he's chasing him, he wants him to vault the wind that way as much time as possible. He comes back, beautiful one tap lasso, chasing me. And Elias, he vaults the window, he knows it was coming, vault back. Now, going back and forth, back and forth, he's gonna drop me here. And keep in mind, no one has been shared. So I vote back into Shaq, get a speed boost, and I'm out of here. He realized that once I'm gone, he um, saw that Elias was a vulnerable target. From here, I'm going to make a way towards the gate, and the Cyphers are primed and ready to go. Now, he's going to maintain focus on Elias while I'm at the gate. Now, we're going to expect Elias going back and forth, back and forth. Now, what the Ripper wants to do is he, makes, he wants to make sure he gets that hit with the Foggy Blade. He's going back and forth, Elias trying to anticipate the Foggy Blade, holding out his lasso. Last is over him. Sooner or later, it's going to be a foggy blade here. Cut is trying to build as much out as possible. Cypher is prime, and I'm waiting at the gate. Beautiful fog blade hit. Psyche said, nope, I'm not going to pop it because it was a fog blade hit, and there's no attack recovery. So from there, he's going to make sure he's going to go for the save, and then from there, he's going to pop it. Beautiful discipline from Psyche not popping the Cypher. I really do admire that because he knew that it was a fog blade hit. If it wasn't a fog blade hit and it was a recovery hit, that's when he would go for the pop. But because there was no recovery, he waited. We popped the Cyphers, everybody's gone. Because there was an attack recovery hit and not want to risk another Fog Blade hit. Um, Seer does have another Owl. Owl was the Cowboy, and then Cowboy's making his way towards my exit gate. Now it's going to be Cut who's going to kiting over here. The gates are going to be open soon. Psyche's making his way towards Shack Gate. Now he's trying to cut through, come here. Um, beautiful dodge on um, Cut's behalf. We're all going to go towards the gate. 
Gates are gonna be open soon. Catching up to cut, gonna be super close to it, back and forth, back and forth. And from here, this should be game. Let's hop into the five side for kite, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 